I'm like when I'm someone, also known as Falda, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my llama farm. So this is my llama farm. I've had a few people ask me to do a tutorial on it, how it's made. Uh, I've even built some for some people as well. So I thought I'd do a tutorial so you know how to build it. So let's take a look at how it works and then we'll get on with building it. So we've got these individual breeding cells where you uh, put two llamas in and you breed them, like so. You can see your mouse goes all over the place, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so I put these little clud walls on there, it makes it a little bit easier. So once you breed the uh, llamas, the little babies will float into this water. And they'll come all the way along here and go to the holding cell. There's also a switch over here. If you flick this, this will stop the baby llamas from going into these water channels. Uh, this is useful if you're uh, growing two baby llamas to uh, then tim and breed later. So you just go along, breed your llamas like so. And as you can see, all your baby llamas go down these water shoots and we'll all collect at this end. Now I built my llama farm on the Minecraft server known as Empire Minecraft. It's the main one I play on nowadays, I recommend you check it out. It's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome server, pretty awesome community. But uh, this server allows you to uh, turn any animal back into an egg. But you can still uh, build this llama farm and use it uh, on any other server, you just won't be able to egg them unless they have the option. There's a few decent ones there. So now you've seen how it works, let's uh, jump over to single player and start building it. So let's get started. Uh, these are blocks you're going to need, not exact amounts, but uh, thereabouts. Uh, you're going to need some blocks to build out of, you can choose whatever blocks you want. I'm just using cobblestone because it doesn't really matter, it works the same no matter what it looks like. If you want to make it look a bit nicer, go for it. Uh, you're going to need some glass, same again, you can just put stone there, but I like to put a bit of glass so you can see the llamas. You're going to need signs, quite a few signs, some slabs, uh, some buckets of water, uh, and then some pistons, torches, and a bit of redstone. So I'm going to start with the uh, basic walls. Uh, this one's going to hold six cells, or twelve llamas, but you can uh, expand it as much as you want. So we're just going to build out the basic cells. And you can make these a little bit wider. Uh, very occasionally, the baby llamas will get stuck behind adult ones. Doesn't happen very often, you just give, give them a little nudge. But uh, I think if you made these a little bit bigger, that might fix that, but... A 2x2 two two should be fine. So, now we're gonna... the other side. Leaving a 2x2, two two, uh, or too wide area there for the water. So once you've got the main walls in, it should look a bit like that, free high. So now we're going to lower this middle bit, which is where the main water channel is going to be. And we're going to put the pistons in. Make sure the uh, pistons are facing up. And you want the blocks to be in line with the floor of the cell, as you can see. I'm just going to go up and do that for each cell. So, now we've got the pistons in. We need to put in one of the most important things, which is the half slabs right here. This is going to stop the adults from getting out and just allow the babies to come through. And of course, once you power these pistons, the block will move up and then nothing can get out. I also recommend putting half slabs here and here and a little bit wrong and here and that will allow you to uh, place some chests there uh, in between the glass which we'll put the glass in now, that'll go there so you can put some chests there, store your eggs in there if you uh, don't have the 
ability to egg them, then you could maybe start your wheat in there or something. Now, let's work on the uh, the main water stream. We need to put signs here and here, and then we need to hold shift and right click on the sign to place another sign. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop the water from the cells merging with the water here. So just want to keep placing these signs until you get up to the edge. We don't need the, those ones there. So this is going to stop any water that you place in there from going back out. So that's what we're going to do next. Place the water in the cells. We're going to place it right at the back. Might be a bit easier to do it from above. Like so. Now that we've got these pistons in, we can go ahead and place some more blocks back here. Because it doesn't need to be this low yet. We can go ahead and put our water in. You'll see the water will only go this far. Normally I would use a trick using signs in these uh, stone slabs, which I'll show in a, in a little bit. But you can't use that quite here because this block here has a piston underneath it. And so the sign would get knocked off as soon as you use the pistons. So we're going to have to take the blocks out below the water. And that's going to allow it to continue to go. Now if you're building bigger than this, you just continue repeating what's already been done. Going along, but... Uh, but for the demonstration of uh, this tutorial, I'm just going to build this small one. So we're then going to bring the water back up. I'm going to put a sign there. And a sign there. And stone slimes after the sign. So this water is going to come along, push you up. And then we're going to put water here. And here. And that's going to continue on. The sign's going to stop the water from uh, going backwards. So now this water should take you straight along. Like so. And this is the method I would normally use, but you can't place a sign there because there's a piston right there. So if you're at the end of uh, your llama farm, it's time to start bringing up the water. Using this trick here. Build some walls across. Oops. signs and slabs. And now one important thing to do when your water comes out into your uh, area where you're going to keep your llamas, what you're going to do is you want to count eight blocks from where the water is going to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you want to destroy these two blocks here. This is going to stop the water from flowing everywhere. If I don't have those blocks there and I place this water, You'll see it's going to go absolutely everywhere, and that's not what you want. So you want to go eight blocks out, take those two out, and now the water should go straight forwards. So now all you got to do is hook up a lever to the pistons, and that's the llama farm done. So now we're going to wire in the pistons. I actually recommend you do this before you put the water in, because we're going to have to remove it here to be able to. Uh, wire them a little bit easier. So there's the pistons there. What you want to do is dig out these blocks here and you want some blocks diagonal to the pistons and the torches underneath. And we go along for each piston. So we just want to place some blocks here with your redstone torches underneath your pistons and then we're going to come around here dig out this dirt here put redstone dust along the top of those blocks uh, if you're building a longer farm you may need to put a repeater in I recommend you put it here that way it doesn't stop any of the pistons so I'm going to do this on the other side and then we'll hook them both up to a lever
So now we're gonna connect the both of them. Like so. So now we've got them both connected, we'll put a lever here and make sure it works. And you can see the pistons have dropped down, that will allow the babies to flow out of here. We we'll flick it again. That's going to stop them from coming out. So if you were putting in babies to grow, you'd obviously want it like this so they can't escape. And then once they've all grown up, you can flick that lever and any babies that will uh, grow in these cells will then come flowing out and be taken off to where you want to take them. Obviously you would uh, route this wire somewhere that's a lot more easy, easily accessible. So now we just gotta fix our water stream. Like so, and we put the water back in. And now our llama farm should be complete. So let's load up some llamas and give it a test. So I'm gonna flick that lever so none of the babies can escape. Now on Empire Minecraft, any uh, animal that spawns from an egg will uh, spawn as a baby. So, as you saw there, that one's a baby. That would happen 100% of the time. So that's why you need this lever here to stop them from immediately leaving these cells and going off to wherever you're sending them. So we'll wait for those to grow up. I'll tame them and breed them and make sure this thing works. So to tame them, all you gotta do is ride them like a horse a few times until they uh, display hearts. It can be a bit stubborn at times, but persistence and they will eventually love you. Or you can just feed them a little food and that will speed up that process. So now all our llamas are uh, tamed, we can go ahead and take this lever and go ahead and breed them. this one. That's why I have the uh, cap, it's because uh, I can really throw off your uh, sense of direction. And you can see the little baby ones are flowing right along. And of course, because I don't have uh, another adult llama here, they're going to come running straight over here to the nearest one. But, uh, obviously you would put them in some sort of pen. So there we go, that's my uh, basic llama farm. You can build it as big or as small as you like. Hopefully you understood this tutorial, hopefully it was uh, not too hard to follow. So before I end this video, just a few little tips. Uh, like I said in the uh, beginning, use colour carpets, that way it's uh, a lot easier to uh, identify uh, whereabouts you are, especially when uh, your vision gets thrown all over the place, or your aim should I say. So having a colour carpet makes it a lot more easy to remember which cell you're breeding at. Another thing like I was saying, have uh, an adult llama over here. I've got two of them. And as you see, when the babies come running out, they should. This one gets a little closer. Come running to the nearest adult. And my last tip is... Oh, God. Uh, stay away from that llama. Uh, build your pen out of these cobblestone walls, and then you can put carpets on the top. It makes it a lot easier to get in and out, and uh, the llamas haven't got a clue. So, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it was uh, useful. If you'd like to buy some uh, of my llamas on Empire Minecraft, uh, you can visit this place by uh, the tag llama. I believe I'm the only one that's using that at the moment. Well, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video soon.